Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the seven best upgrades for the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. These upgrades include both helpful and useful tools that you can integrate into your machine to make them better, and also just fun and unique accessories that you can add to personalize your machine. These upgrades also include products that you can buy off of Amazon or at a store to add to your machine, or files that you can literally just 3D print from the Centauri Carbon and then add it to it to make it better. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the video. Okay, so before you can get your Centauri Carbon looking like this, we're going to have to start like this. Now the first upgrade that I have for you guys is actually something that you can literally print straight off of the USB drive that this printer comes with. This is a Centauri Carbon poop holder and it literally catches the poop that this printer is going to shoot out. And it's cool because it's literally a miniature version of the Centauri Carbon and you just unscrew two of the screws on the back panel and then screw them back in with the poop shoe on it. And and it will catch all of it. And luckily it's deep enough and big enough that you're probably rarely even going to have to empty it out because there's so little waste with this machine right now as they don't have the multi-filament system implemented. And people online have already created other models that allow it to slide around to the side. So that way you can empty it out as it comes through. And I like when printing companies do this, when they have models on the printer that you're able to print off and sort of create extra accessories or parts for the printer. And I'm guessing that they do that, so that way they're able to bring the cost down a little bit on the price of the machine and considering this machine is $299 that's fantastic. They can do whatever they want in terms of the small things like that. Another really neat upgrade that they included on the printer itself is a holder for the lid. And you can attach this onto the left side panel and it will actually hold the lid. So whenever you're printing in different filaments like PLA, you can take the lid off and it will hold it on the side so that we don't have to worry about putting it off to the side somewhere and worrying about it scratching or breaking. And then whenever you go to use filaments that require the entire chamber to be heated, you can just slide it right off and place it back on. And it's nice that they thought about things like that because especially when you need to be able to move that lid up and down and they didn't want to include a hinge because it would probably cost more money to have the hinge on there. They decided to just have a printable file that allows you to take the lid off and hold it is super genius. And, and once again, I love when they include small models like this that you can actually implement into the printer that you just purchased and sort of get some fun test prints off and them actually be useful. And once again, designers online have taken the opportunity to remix this file and have included different versions that can hold up to three or four different build plates as well. So not only can you take off your lid and slide it onto the holder, you can also hold any extra build plates. So if you did purchase any extra build plates, you can slide them all on the side of the printer and then just have everything organized and all together. And while we're on the subject of build plates, the first actual upgrade that I purchased for the Centauri Carbon is this Cryo Grip build plate from BQ. Now this build plate is technically made for bamboo printers, but the size of the Centauri Carbon to like the X1 Carbon is only like one millimeter each way. So it doesn't fit 100% on the printer, but it's so close that you probably wouldn't even notice. And as long as you keep it a little bit forward, that prime line will still hit, so you don't have to worry about that. But the reason they call this the cryo grip build plate is because I think it has some sort of technology in it that allows it to cool a little bit quicker. So that way you can get your prints off a little bit faster. And it comes in this nice teal blue design, which makes it a lot easier for you to be able to see your prints. And there are different versions of this build plate that allow you to print with different materials like PLAs or ABSs or even TPUs. Any of the upgrades that I talk about in this video, I will be leaving down below in the description. So if you wanna purchase these for yourself, you can go ahead and do that. And speaking of not being able to see the only major con I have about this printer is the light and how dark it is on the inside of this machine and it makes it extremely difficult to be able to monitor your prints and make sure that everything's coming out correctly so I added some LED lights to it now I printed off this low level riser I've seen a lot of people print off the large riser that has the sliding vents and I mostly print in PLA so I don't hardly ever use the lid so I didn't really want to keep the lid on there and have the sliding vent. So I just stuck with the lid holder on the side of the machine and printed off this low level riser so that way you can add LED strips to it. Now the LED strip that I chose to use was these Gobi LED lights. They're only about 10 bucks on Amazon. Once again, I'll leave it linked down below in the description. And with this model, you are able to attach these LEDs to it and it will hold them at an angle so that way you can see the inside of your printer better. And you can change the colors of these LEDs. You can keep them white, whatever makes it easier for you to be able to see what's going on inside of your printer. And of course, if you're really technical, you could wire these LEDs into the same circuit as the light on the printer. But unless you've done that before and you know what you're doing and you know the inside and outs of this printer, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Just use the USB and plug it into either the outside 
side or another outlet behind it. And I started to notice on the side with the spool holder that the side of the printer panel was starting to get scuffed up just from the spools of filament rubbing against it. While it's not gonna cause any damage in the long term, I just didn't like how it was kind of roughing up that side of the printer. So I found this model that is a panel protector from the filament and the design has eight slots for magnets in it. So if you wanted to just magnetize this onto the side of the printer, you could, or it even has a screw holder. So that way you can unscrew the bottom screw on that panel and just attach it that way. And it will protect that side of the printer from the filament scratching it up. And plus it just adds a little bit of personality to your printer and you can print it off in any color that you want and fully customize this thing to be your own. And that's the number one thing that I think I like the most about all these designs that are online as well is there's so many different versions and so many cool designs that you can print off all of these different accessories in different colors and attach them to your printer and your printer will be totally customized to you. And I really like that. And especially with this flat gray design, opportunity to customize it is endless. Speaking of customizing it, I found this little border for the LCD screen that you can just slide right onto the touchscreen. And once again, it just helps give your printer a little bit of character and personality. And I think that this is a really neat way to simply upgrade your machine and have it be customized to you. And of course, people have gone crazy with some of these models. People have made spool holders that can go on the inside. They made small fan decals that you can put on the actual extruder itself. They've made 270 degree door hinges that you can attach to the glass door and literally just open it all the way around the printer or even handles that you can print off for the lid and the door. So that way you can have your own color handle if you wanted to. So all sorts of really cool models out there that people are creating. And literally, if you just go on Makers Online, Makers World or Printable, there are hundreds of designs for this print already. And they're so fun and so cool to print off. And the last upgrade that I have for you guys today is actually nothing to do with the printer, but rather stabilizing the table that it's on. Now I have this small table from Mainstays. You can find these at Walmart or probably on Amazon for about 15 or $20. And this is the table that I have my Centauri Carbon sitting on right now. And I noticed because it is so fast and the acceleration is so high, it tends to shake the table or even move it a little bit and causing it to slide, which I definitely do not want. So if you just find the small furniture rubber feet that you can put on the bottoms of your table that it's sitting on, or even underneath the printer itself, it'll help stabilize it, help compensate some of that vibration and give you all around better print. So once again, a super good necessity of an upgrade that you need for this printer. Okay, so now that I've told you all about the upgrades, let's go ahead and throw them on the machine. And that is the seven best upgrades for the Centauri Carbon. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm having a lot of fun printing things off of this machine and adding things to it to make it better. And like I said in the video, all of the different files that people are making online are super cool and there's literally hundreds of them out there. So if you guys did enjoy this video and would like to see seven more upgrades to the Centauri Carbon, definitely let me know down in the comments and I will definitely take that into account because this machine is super cool and there's a ton of files out there and different things that you can add to it to make it better. And hey, if you don't have this machine yet and you're thinking about getting it, check out this video right here where I do an unboxing setup and initial review on the Centauri Carbon and consider subscribing to the channel for more 3D printing content. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.